Okay, welcome back. Uh, we have Dr. Nagaraj Kikeri with us today, and we are talking about pain and how to treat pain, how to live with pain, and how to actually understand what pain is all about and look for different options of how you get some relief. So, Dr. Nagaraj Kikeri, uh, I understand what we were talking about, thresholds and all that stuff. What I'd like to know is the physical nature of pain, how many different classifications are there? As a doctor, how do you classify those things and how do you treat them? How do you treat each one of them? Sure. Let me make it very simple. Let me explain in the terms that all of us can understand. There are different types of pain. Basically, pain is meant to be very protective of our body, human body. That is called a good pain. A good pain is something that serves you well, that prevents you from getting hurt, that prevents you from organ damage, that prevents you from uh, you going through a physically detrimental thing to your body. That is a good pain. It is an example, if you touch a hot pan that's on the stove, what do you do? You take your hand back. Why do you do that? If you don't, then your hands will burn. That pain, when you take uh, when you touch that hot pan will last for few hours to few days and then the pain will go away that is a good pain but if let's assume for the sake of argument that you touch a hot pan after you touch a hot pan and the pain persists for several weeks that pain is a bad pain because that pain is not serving you then that pain should be treated there are different types of pain some for example there are pain that is coming from the joint there are pains that is coming from the muscle there are pains coming from the bone and uh, that is one type of pain other types of pains are pain coming from a pressure or pinching of a nerve those those are called nerve pain another example of a nerve pain is people who are diabetic they have what is called a neuropathy pain. It is like having a constant pins and needles and ants biting in your feet as if it's all, always present. So these are the different ways to look at pain and different types of pain. How different is it from the cancer pain you were talking about where this gentleman was in extreme pain and that's what started you on this journey? Yes, yes. And uh, to understand cancer pain, I will, uh, mm, I, fortunately I have, I'm grateful to be in a field where I get to take care of a lot of terminally ill, dying cancer patients. And I got to learn a lot from them. So in the process, I got to understand the cancer pain a lot more intimately, a lot more uh, at a uh, different level. Many a times cancer pain is from the tumor itself. Tumor pressing on a bone, tumor pressing on a nerve, tumor eating away the tissue. Second, cancer pain could really attack a bunch of nerves which becomes hypersensitive. Mm -hmm. And cancer treatment such as radiation treatment, surgery, chemotherapy, as a side effect can give rise to a whole host of other pains. These are all some of the cancer pains. And in a rare instance, not a rare, but uh, not, not very common, a cancer tissue itself will secrete hormones that will make the pain to be more uh, hypersensitive, more susceptible for pain. And this is, these are some of the cancer pain related and issues. How different are these pains from a physical injury type pain? Oh, cancer pains are almost always associated with a significant amount of uh, mental stress, significant amount of social, uh, psychological uh, stress. That is so important that it, it adds to the quality of life. I mean, 
cancer pain is something that will make it or it will make a person enjoy the last few hours, last few days, last few months of their life with dignity or die suffering. So taking care of a cancer pain is uh, different than taking care of somebody who has a sprained elbow, a sprained ankle. We have to be a lot more compassionate, a lot more caring and a lot more in tuned to the dignity of the dying person, dignity of a person who is going through a lot more than cancer and a uh, lot more than just pain and uh, to treat such person it, it's, it takes uh, a lot more aggressive ways to treat the pain. Okay now this is a question which basically is more in tune with the kind of audience we have which is mostly Southeast Asians. This TV station is for Southeast Asians. So how different is pain with respect to that culture? You know, I, I know you were talking about different cultures have different attitude towards pain. So how different does the Southeastern culture handle pain? And, and at what point do you say, well, they have to come into the mainstream and be treated like everybody else? Uh, to understand our culture in pain management situation where we do have, uh, we are especially the first generations, first generation of uh, people who are in, who was born in the United States, they are, part of their culture has influence and part of them, they grew up here exposed to a different society. Their outlook and their attitude is different from the way their parents are raised. And I'm sure uh, most of you have heard, uh, especially the parents telling the kids, oh, I have gone through this amount of pain thousand times worse than what you're going through. Just, uh, you know, bear with it or I have seen worse than this. But the kids have different difficulty understanding that because they were not there. They did not grow up in India. They did not grow up in uh, it, wherever. So uh, the culture has some effect, but it is different from first generation to the the one people like us who came from India. And there is always this fear of addiction to the pain medicine more than the pain itself. And that's part of the reason I think, uh, I'll tell you personally, I have two kids who are sports guys. Every time they were injured and the doctor wanted them to be on a pain medication, I was so concerned that they would get addicted to it. So we made especially sure that these things, they didn't get addicted. So we would cut them off as quickly as possible. I don't know if it was right or wrong, but the addiction to the pain medication is what bothers a lot of parents. I, I am a father of five children, and I have the same fear as you do. Mm -hmm. And when I practice medicine, I have told my younger patients that prescribing narcotics prescribing medications that will make you, you know, get hooked on to those drugs. It's, it's, it's not to be taken lightly. You brought up a point that is so important that prescribing physicians, whoever they are, they have to educate, educate, educate. Mm -hmm. An indiscriminate prescription of a narcotic medication leads to abuse, misuse, addiction and dependency yeah. and that uh, that that is where on the other hand please understand that we also go to the other extreme where we withheld the proper treatment when you withhold the proper treatment then recovery would become a problem mm -hmm. treating narcotics you should treat it like kitchen knife if you know how to use it well you will get benefit from it if you don't know how to use it well, you will cut your finger. And uh, not to make light of the situation, uh, if uh, we are not careful, we are, as parents, we as, uh, if we are not in tune to the fact that these are highly addictive medications, yes, it can lead to abuse. It can lead to a lot of things. Fantastic. We'll take a break and we'll be back 
in a short time uh, to continue this.